Hello guys, welcome to Shopping Best Review. Today I'll be showing you guys how to fix your keyboard issues. I had a problem, that's why I didn't record last week. There are some issues with my laptop and I didn't know how to fix it. Yeah, and worst of all, someone just sat on my <laughs> on my screen while I was trying to fix it. So yeah, so they broke it. From now on I'm using a secondary monitor. To make a video for you guys so let's begin okay we'll begin with first of all before we continue this video there are some things that you will require before trying to perform these actions one is a secondary mouse or and a keyboard if you have but the mouse is the most important yeah so once you get the mouse just power on your device and the first thing that you'll see with is that it will show your name and your account your account password just click on the bottom right it will be somewhere here somewhere here on the bottom right you can click on it then it will show about seven options or five options you just click on the screen on screen keyboard till you get like the third or fourth option on your login on your windows login and if you don't have a mouse you can just bother your neighbor in this tutorial we'll be using a mouse and a keyboard if you have though it's not a must so once you enter you you'll have a page like this one what you will have to do from here is that you will want to go to settings then you go to ease of access and you choose an on-screen keyboard here yeah. then you should get something like this so once you have this you just for me I, 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 I can use my keyboard so I can use my mouse and keyboard so I won't have to use this let me just close it but for you guys that don't have you can move it or minimize it until the part that will show so after this you just close this page then you want to go here the search icon and you search for something called device manager the moment you enter to it, it's supposed to be something like a device manager then you click on it after that what you want to look for is the keyboard these are all the drivers that your computer has and if you see a triangle here just know that you don't have a you don't have the required amount the, the required drivers and you will need to install them by the way i'm using a it's at night i just had to upload a video so if the lighting is not okay just know that i'll, I'll improve on it the next time so i just go to keyboards you should have something like a triangle here and that's how we we'll fix it so you can double click on the standard ps2 keyboard or you can left click then you change drivers and you go to driver and update driver and update the driver then you search automatically for no the mistake that you guys do when you try to upload when you try to fix your issues is you go for the automatical one and yeah sometimes it might work but for me uh the last time that I, on my previous device I tried using the automatic one but didn't work for me. So the best thing that you can do is you press for your previous one before you updated it. Okay, so after that you just go to select from the ones that you have on your computer. 
you will pick you choose the ones that are available for you don't try to change the location unless you already know where it is or which i'm sure most of you don't know okay so after that you come and you'll find uh, some models which are already available in the computer and you click on one of them it will be updated it will be updated for you so, so that you can install once this is done it will show you an option to restart it you can choose whether to restart or not for now if you want to use your keyboard you can restart it once you are done okay so once you're done I don't want to once you're done the touchpad for some people the touchpad will be working but if it's not working for you you can do the same procedure for the mice and other pointing devices synaptics sm bus touchpad you can just do the same okay so what for some of you i'm sure that that option didn't work luckily you can try to uninstall no no before uninstalling just try to update it from online <coughs> the previous option that i told you not to try you know online can work but the one that was previously available was the one that came with your manufacturer so there's a high like there's a higher chance of it working you can try this one and i'm i'm sure now 90 percent 90 percent of your devices are working there's only 10 percent of which has refused after that after trying the automatic one and it's still not working just go to the standard ps2 keyboard then you click uninstall device uninstall device and after that you go to the web now you can search for your for your hp if you have a hp laptop you can download a hp device manager from the web or your on your your uh, computer model so you can just search then it will bring it it will bring an option for you guys to download if if you're done downloading and you scan for your drivers you will find them but if you can't if it's a hp device just search for hp drivers like the that are oh okay here you can use your you can just search for the one that you want you place your hp model number serial number it will bring your laptop with, with all your devices i'm sure it, it works for other devices like lenovo or the one the case for you guys who are using h s or other types of models i'm sure it will still work if you google their drivers then you choose you're supposed to choose laptop let i'm not sure why i'm not sure why it's loading so much but let it load another alternative is going to intel utility upload intel update utility i'm not sure if it has okay this one is supposed to add some drivers that your computer is missing if you've downloaded the software it's supposed to be scanning your system it's, it will be looking for your system for missing for missing drivers so that's another alternative but this is after you've tried the ones for your manufacturer of which mine will just choose the laptop and for the serial number i'll just go here and i'll cop try to copy paste so copy then paste and submit 
to bring your computer model yeah this is how my laptop looks but okay so once you're here all you need to do is go to the driver keyboard and mouse and you search for the let for the latest one yeah okay, like that this is the earliest one but you can you can do any for me i'll use the earliest one it's in it was much okay you can use the earliest one for what if you want to download it if you want a safe option because this one's my power driver that's not on your computer so once you've downloaded it try to run it and that one that way it will teach me 95 percent of your computer to work the last option the second last option is find it from here but this place it's only for the processor and operating system I'm not sure I'm not so sure if it has the most computer option like that in our server camera the last option you guys have is using a driver part honestly I don't advise you guys to do this some people say it's okay but I tried using it once and it lost the my touch with it so much. It wasn't compatible. But you can use it some good good file in it. So you just come here. It will, it, will, it, will, it will require you can just search for the specific driver. Okay. And then, so you're searching for or on the other alternative because I've never used this I don't want to send you guys to a place which I haven't passed no ok don't use just go to just go to Just go to the main page and install all required drivers so that it's compatible. But that's the last option. If, if you don't have, if if the other alternatives didn't work, yeah. So we are done with this video. You can give a like to really assist this video. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. This, this isn't our usual videos, we should do some reviews, some product reviews like phones and other things. See you in another video.